We don't know what that is yet. Landowner called me and they're about to log this farm here. And he was going around and making some markers. There's Larry. What's up everybody? And he found this old stone chimney up in here. Now I've hunted around this area on, on down toward the end of that field there and found some places in here, but I never scouted up in here. There's just a little knoll right here. A little branch runs down below right there. So this looks like it may be a promising spot. Uh, hoping to find at least some flat buttons and uh, it uh, that this is a colonial house, which I think it probably is because there's a lot in this area here. But anyway, we're going to get started and uh, we'll be back with you when we find our first signal. We just got started. Uh, Larry found two jar lids and I found a piece of iron. Then I've got a, uh, I believe it's part of a rivet myself. I don't know what Larry's got there. I do. What is it? It's a scutcheon, I believe. Oh. It's got, it's got some, got some pretty on it. You'll have to bring that over here in a minute. I don't know why it is that my detector loves <laughs> harmonica reads. It's, uh, got, it's got a it's got a harmonica read program in it. I guess it? so. But there's another one. I want to see that uh, sketching. Yeah, I'll try to hit your glove with it right there on top, just behind your glove. Oh, there we go. I guess that's what it is. That's got some decoration on it. A little, little party on it. That's a nice find. I also found I also found some blue glass here. It's part of a jar. Uh, some type of medicine, I'm sure. I remember when I was a kid, there was a lot of different medicines came in jars like that anyway we're finding a little stuff my next find here is a head stamp looks like maybe a 20 gauge there's the chimney right there i've got half of an axe head you see it's broke the handle would have went in right there that's a cool find this thing here uh, come off of a single tree that would be a, some kind of farm implement, a timber implement. I don't know, but uh, not for a tractor, for an animal. Man, that's been used. It's wore up in that hook, and I'd say that's hand forged. That's old. That's old, old right there. Larry's got the find of the day. <laughs> a little stirrup here. That's great. The big one. And he found, well, I'll drop that. That's all right. And he found this little copper, something. I think it's some kind of bushing or something other. It's kind of like what goes around, what went around the old spark plugs. Yeah. But that's too big. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's, some it's, kind of washer. It's the highest tone of the day for me. Yeah. Found a Civil War bullet. I believe that this is a burn side. Now, squirrels and what have you have chewed on it, but you can tell what it was. It has the uh, rings right there. That's a good find. It's been a while since I found a Civil War bullet. I got another piece of horse tack. The strap would have went through right there. I'm not sure what that would have went on, but that's what I'm guessing. That's some kind of horse tack. This is all crushed together, but it's part of an oil lamp. Would have went on top and the wick would have come out. 
the top of that. I love finding those. I got a ring here. Came off of Hames. Some of those were brass. This one's not. It's metal. But more horse tack. Well, I found another harmonica reed plate. I'd like to know in my detecting career how many of them I've found. I like finding them though. Larry's found a few of these today, but this is my first one. It's a jar lid. There's the porcelain uh, thing that goes under the lid. Of course, the lid's all corroded away. But you find those around these old house sites. It doesn't have a name on it there. I'm really not sure what this is. That's the handle. I don't know. Sure don't. No clue what that is. Got the washer part of the rivet. That's probably horse tack or something. I guess it could have been a rivet on a pair of pants. But it's brass. It was a good sounding signal. Well, we're leaving because the bees have run us off. The old uh, chimney is right up there where those flags are. And there was a cedar tree. And they, they had it infiltrated we're on our way out and larry was beeping out we don't know what that is yet it could be a, it could be a aluminum slug for all i know it is a large no it's not a flat button Let me get this cleaned up. The curse of live dig. <laughs> it is a, it is a button, and it's a sportsman button. It says safety, ethics, and sportsmanship. I'd say some young hunter got that, and was very, very disappointed whenever they lost that down here hunting. Wish I knew who it belonged to. We get it back to them. That's a great find, man. You know it. I mean, that's on the great, way to the truck. On the way to the <laughs> truck. That's a great find. Wish it'd been a large set. <laughs> well, hello, gang. Digging with seven here. We uh, landowner called me uh, a couple of days ago, and uh, they're about to log this farm here. And he told me that they found uh, part of a old stone chimney. And I've scouted, I've hunted in this area before, but uh, I'd never hunted where he said this was. And so me and Larry got together and uh, we came down to see what we could find. We dug a few holes. We dug a few holes. We got run out though. <laughs> yeah, the, bees, because the bees were getting a little angry. At there was a uh, big cedar tree that was hollow. And uh, I noticed I started hearing some buzzing, and I said, I thought they were flies to start with. And I looked, and it was, they was a gazillion bees that come, out of that, come out of that tree. But I'll show you what we found. This is Larry's stuff from right about here over. And uh, he actually found the best stuff today. I love this little stirrup that he found right here, which was a great find. And then when we were finished and we were coming out, he found this, uh, let me get out here where you can see it. It says safety, ethics, and sportsmanship. And it's, it's a hunter's button. It probably had, I don't know if it had a shank or, no, that's rubber. It right is, there. isn't it? Yeah, sure it's is. rubber. Uh, that popped off of something. I'm sure somebody was very yeah. disappointed, probably a young hunter. And uh, I like this that he found some kind of a sketching that uh, I don't know what it would have went on. <laughs> like and then the stuff we find. <laughs> just the normal junk, you know, that you find. A couple of horseshoes there, big old nut. And I didn't find as much, but... Yeah, that's a strange it, find of the day. Check out what I found right there. There was a few jar lids. Larry found some. And uh, there's some stuff that we left on that chimney and the bees ran us off, so we didn't get it, but I think we filmed most of them. There's a couple of pieces of pottery right there. 
and uh, I did manage to find one Civil War bullet. Uh, squirrels have had that. Squirrel and they, buffet. They've uh, chewed well, on it. Well, I think I think it was a burn side, the way it looks to me, which would have been a 54 caliber, I think. And uh, I found some head stamps. Obviously, I found a couple of <laughs> I found a couple of harmonica reeds. No toe tap. Uh, I did find this piece of uh, blue jar, and I found a piece of an oil lamp, but it's all crushed, and you really can't tell a whole lot about it. But I've found enough of those that I know sure that's is. what that is. Uh, but anyway. It was a fun time. It was a good time. Uh, enjoyed getting out and everything. We appreciate y'all watching. Uh, we're going to try to do a little bit more hunting this year than we did last year. And so uh, keep watching. We'll have some more. I'm going to do a little bit more diving this year too. So uh, appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next video.